Hello, can I help you? Agent Smulder and Scully, FBI. <gasps> is this about that pen that I took from the post office? I, I swear, I didn't know I put it in my purse. Then I was going to bring it back, but the dog chewed it up, and that just made things worse. <laughs> Actually, we're here to see your husband about his UFO encounter. <gasps> oh! <gasps> come! Come in! <gasps> Mr. Simpson, look at this lineup and tell us if any of these are the aliens you saw. Yo! No, I'm sorry. Oh, this makes me very angry. Now we're going to run a few tests. This is a simple lie detector. I'll ask you a few yes or no questions and you just answer truthfully. Do you understand? Yes. after the earth Minbari war. The Babylon Project was a dream given form. Its goal, to prevent another war by creating a place where humans and aliens could work out their differences peacefully. It's a port of call, home away from home for diplomats, hustlers, entrepreneurs, and wanderers. Humans and aliens wrapped in 2,500,000 tons of spinning metal, all alone in the night. It can be a dangerous place, but it's our last best hope for peace. This is the story of the last of the Babylon stations. The year is 2258. The name of the place is Babylon 5.
Hi, I'm Ray, and I live here in Long Island with my wife, Deborah, my six-year-old daughter, and twin two-year-old boys. My parents live across the street. That's right. And my brother lives with them. Now, not every family would defy gravity for you, but mine would, because... Everybody loves Raymond. Hey, you didn't, uh... On the newspaper page A loving tradition Of the grand design Some people say It's even harder to find Well then there must be Some magic clue Inside these gentle walls Cause all I see Is a tower of dreams Real love bursting out of every scene Sit right there, I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool and all shooting some b ball outside of the school. When a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared. I said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. I begged and pleaded with her day after day, but she packed my suitcase and sent me on my way. She gave me a kiss and then she gave me my ticket. I put my Walkman on and said, I might as well kick it. First class, yo, this is bad. Drinking orange juice out of a champagne glass. Is this what the people of Bel Air living like? Hmm, this might be all right. I whistled for a cab and when it came near, the license plate said, fresh and a dice in the mirror. If anything, I can say that this cab was rare, but I thought, man, forget it. Yo, Go home to Bel Air! I pulled up to the house about seven or eight and I yelled to the cabbie, yo home, smell you later. Looked at my kingdom, I was finally there to sit on my throne as the Prince of Bel Air.
She was working in a bridal shop in Flushing, Queens Till her boyfriend kicked her out in one of those crushing scenes What was she to do? Where was she to go? She was out on her fanny So over the bridge from Flushing to the Sheffield's door She was there to sell makeup, but the father saw more She had style, she had plan, she was there That's how she became the nanny Who would have guessed that the girl we described Was just exactly what the doctor prescribed Now the father finds her beguiling Watch out, CC Smiling, Such She's the lady in red when everybody else is wearing tan. The flashy girl from Flushing, the nanny named Fran.
of a ranger, the unsuspecting stranger, had better know the truth of wrong from right. Cause the eyes of the ranger are upon you. Any wrong you do, he's gonna see. When you're in Texas, look behind you. Cause that's where the ranger's gonna be. Forged in the heat of battle.